What's up guys, Kanato64 here. Today we're doing episode 16 to what if Sonic was in My Hero Academia. <clears throat> so guys, we start with Izuku heading to school. Oh god, I'm gonna be late. Uh -huh. Until he stops and he sees a lot of people in front of UA. What's going on? A woman turns behind and sees the UA boy. We have questions. How does it? F How do you feel about All Might being your teacher? Uh, it's good, I guess. Uh. And of course, the woman keeps on asking more and more questions. And Izuku, being t a little timid and shy, especially with the cameras in his face, and the woman asking nonstop questions. So, Aizawa. Steps in, grabs Izuku, and tells him to get to class. And I was always like, <clears throat> I'm sick and tired of your harassing my students. Get the hell out of your way. And bother someone else. I was always thinking, God, of course, this all is about All Might. <sighs> this is going to be a pain in the ass. And the woman's like, you can't just throw us out like that. We can't. And right when she steps on the border to UA, alarms go off and the door is about to shut on her until, what, until her cameraman grabs her. like, you can't uh, do that. Their security is off the charts. Yeah, no kidding. That must crush me. After that, we see him. We see a man wearing a black hoodie, and all you can see is his blue hair, bit bit of his blue bangs, and his and his red eyes, <laughs> laughing silently to himself. <clears throat> so with Yuzuku heading to class, he meets up with. Ida in Uraraka. Talking to them, you know, just seeing what they're doing and talking about the press and how, like, they're kind of. Uraraka's like, oh, they're kind of annoying. Like, like, first of all, we have school and they were asking, uh, they were asking me a lot of questions. It was kind of awkward. <laughs> Is uh, like, hey, yeah, same. And Ida's like, well, yes, but they're also doing their job. Kinda. I was always like, okay, settle down. I do have some things to tell y'all. So. Ugh. <sighs> Before y'all head to your first period class, I want y'all to, there's uh, something I got to y'all. And they're thinking, oh God, of course someone's thinking, oh God, is it another excitement? Oh no. Y'all got to pick who is class rep. I'm gonna go take a nap so y'all can figure this out. Is always grabbing his sleeping bag and getting into it to get sleep. <clears throat> and of course, like in the anime, people were saying I should be, you know, I should be, you know, it. And they were arguing about it, kind of. And so Ida comes up with the idea of uh, what we, sh we should be doing a voting. Whoever gets the most two votes could be class rep and vice rep. And of course, people do that. And these are the... He just like, okay, these are the votes. Momo as vice, Momo as vice rep and Izuku as class rep. Zuka's like, 
Izuku, of course, being up there, shy and timid. He's like, I'm glad to be your class rep. <laughs> and of course, Momo is, uh, you know, looking at Izuku and is like, hmm, well, he's, you can tell he's really shy. Hmm. So after that, Momo is also thinking, hmm. He hasn't really changed a lot, has he? Thinking to herself. So after that, the uh, they figured it out the bell rings, and they had to their they had to their first cup they had to their classes, and they go through that like normal. Then after that, they go to uh, they had. You know, they head to their final class, you know, the hero class. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. That was a uh, novocation. On, uh, Sorry about that. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, they head to their, you know, the hero class. <clears throat> and they all, and of course, you know, they sit down and Yuzuk was like, Mm, I wonder what we're doing today. Mm. Uh, is it cause I, I hope we don't have to do um battle training again. That was kind of something. <laughs> okay. I got some things to say. I've watched over your the videos from the battle training. And uh... Izuku, Mado Mr. Madoya. Yes? Never use that can. Never use that, uh, that glove thing again in training. Try to do it on your own time. Because that basically almost destroyed the whole building. And yes, I know. A lot of y'all tried to do, some of y'all did similar things but and also same thing to you Bakugo Spock was like whatever he's Aizawa staring at Bakugo hmm okay and some of y'all did good some of the, and some of y'all need and a lot of y'all need work So, after y'all, after lunch, we're going to be going on a uh, trip. I'll say more when y'all get back. So, head to lunch. Go head to lunch and uh, yeah, I'm going to take me a nap. I'm tired anyways. So everyone heads to lunch. Izuku grabs, you know, his food and heads to the corner table. What's, you know, sits down, is eating and also, you know, reading through some of his books. Some of them are hero notebooks and one of them is the uh, dimension book, you know, where he's putting down, you know, different dimension theories. Hmm, by this, and also, hmm, and of course, Uraka and Ida are across from him. Um, Deku? Hmm? Oh, yes, Uraka. You, I can tell you're really enveloped in that book. But what do you think the, what do you think Mr. Aizawa has planned for us? Hmm, I don't know. But I, but I am curious, I, I I hope it's not battle training again, because I kind of don't want to go through that again with Kachan. <laughs> oh, and, uh, yes, th that is true, and it was, com it was a lot of chaos going on. But Uraka, yes, Ida, the way you, uh, 
The way with the explosion and you sneaking away was very genius. Uh -huh, thanks. <laughs> Until someone says, mm, uh, can I sit here? And the, th the trio look at the person who said that. And they see Momo Izarozu. And, and Izuku's like, M Momo? What are you doing? Don't you normally sit with, you know, your group, I guess? You don't mind if I sit here, do you? Ah, uh, no, not really. If you want to, you can. Thank you. She sits right beside Izuku. And, you know, yeah, she, you know, they start to chat a bit. Until Mom was like, um, Izuku. Yes, uh, oh, uh, yes, Momo. Um, I do want to apologize. But, I did, um, a couple of days ago, when no one was in the room and you was, and you went to go do something, you left your bag and your notebook on your desk. Oh, yeah, uh, you went to the restroom. <laughs> I, had to, I had to use the restroom real quick. And I saw that Dimension Theory book. And I'm sorry, but I I was curious. And I kind of glanced through it a bit. Is it because wait, what? And he was like, mm, I don't, mm, mm, Miss Momo, I thought you than anyone would know not to go through people's stuff. I know, I know. It was wrong for me to do, but with my, uh, how my quirk is and I have to know everything, whatever I create by the structure of it and how it's made, I kind of got curious about what Izuku was writing, what, you know, Madoi was writing. And so I, um, read it and some of those theories seem... Like, I don't know. They seem like they, it's possible. But also something what's, what, a, what, what I don't get. You, in the journal, you mentioned some, you did mention something called Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> what is that? It's a, uh, uh, it's a type of, a uh, energy source. It's, that's just the name of it. <laughs> Hmm, curious. I've never heard of it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, hmm. Momo is staring at Izuku, getting a little suspicious. Uh, until before she could say anything, a bell was like, warning, 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 level three alert, level three alert. Hmm? What's going on? And one of the seniors, was like everyone was running, and was like, through all my three years of the, being at this school, this has never happened. And of course, they try to get out, but everyone just gets stuck. And um, Izuku is also, you know, running. They all got out of their seats, and because when they said it was a villain attack, they kind of dipped. And he's like, wait, what the? It's the press. <laughs> and he was like, Midoriya, what the heck? Ida, uh, it's the press. Is there a way you can get up, up, up that ledge on the, on the X sign? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, try to find Oraka. And... Tell her to float you up to there. Okay. And he's, they, of course, some try to, you know, he is trying to move. And eventually he finds Uraka being smushed. Uraka. And, you know, he tells Uraka the plan and she does make him float and gets up there and says, <clears throat> Everyone, calm down. It is just the press. If you look out out the window, 
you can see. And of course, when they start looking out the window, they start to realize they panic for no reason. And Izuku in his head's thinking, yeah, for first, uh, for for second and third years of of UA, they kind of panicked. Uh, well, I can't really say anything. I was, uh, I don't know. So everything gets you know locked down, and yeah. So after all that, they can see um. So let's go to Aizawa. Hmm. hmm. Nezu, what's wrong? Mike, this gate was not destroyed by... It looked like it was destroyed or disintegrated or something. Hmm. I have a feeling there. this must be some type of attack or... Or someone trying to... I don't know. Hmm. Nezu's like... I want you all to be careful. Who knows what is going on? And of course, as I was like, okay. As I heads to class and tells them to put on their hero costumes or if their hero costumes are not fixed or whatever, they can wear their gym uniforms. So everyone gets on the bus and Ida trying to tell everyone to sit in alphabetical order, but then finding out no one came because how the bus is. And everyone's chit chatting and someone Sue <clears throat> Madoria. Uh, yeah. I do I am a little I am a little curious, um about your quirk. It's similar to all mine. Huh? What? That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> no one even knows what all mine's quirk is, and mine's just called superpower. <laughs> you know? It's not really. You know, of course, a couple of people do kind of agree with her. And, um, and, you know, some other stuff talk about how, like, um, how, like, Kirishima was like, yeah, my quirk, my quirk kind of sucks, man. All I do is just, I can just, I can just make myself hard. And he shows off his quirk. And he's like, he's like actually, no, your quirk is, could be very useful. Like, you could probably dodge bullets and other stuff, too. Like, you're, you're basically like a, you're basically like a shield. Like, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Oh, really? Thanks. And, you know, Izuku's actually talking about how everyone's quirk, how, uh, how, basically, how, what their strengths could be and what their weaknesses are. And, you know, all that. So, yeah. So, after that, a, a couple of minutes or hours to, on the bus... They get to where their destination is. And it's always like, welcome to the USJ. And someone's and someone mentions about like, uh, huh, it's kind of kind of similar to something, but I can't really put my finger on it. Yeah. And of course, someone comes out and. Raka's like, oh my god, oh my god, it's oh my god. He's like, oh, wow. It's it's the Hero 13. Wow. And of course, Oraka's fangirling like crazy. And so, you know, they go in and she explains how quirks can be very deadly and all that. But before, you know, but then after all that, she asked, um, <clears throat> so she, uh, she brings All Might away and says, uh, where's Aizawa, where's All Might? He just puts up three fingers and she's like, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. 
Hold on, I got that wrong. My bad, guys. I was always like, where's all my... She puts up three fingers and he's like, huh, I see. So he's not going to be here today. Okay. Ugh. And then... 13 goes back to talking. And, yeah, she's basically just, you know, saying about how quirks can be dangerous. Even if you want to be a hero. Like, there's no such thing as a villain. There's no such thing as a hero or villain quirk. It's the person. It's how they use it. And, uh, someone, Kirishima was like, Whoa, they even have fake villains, too. And I was, and I was always like, wait, what? <clears throat> and as always sees a warp gate with um with villains coming out of it and she's like as I was like 13 get the students out of here we're being under attack they are not fake they are real villains so after saying that as I jumps out of the way and of course some people at the end come out. A person with hands all over his body, with a person with blue hair and hands all over his body. A, 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 a giant black creature with red scars over his body and like a and like a animal type face with a beak. <laughs> and of course, the whoop. And also some type of warp creature, quirk user, and a person who looks like an egg and floating in some type of egg, some type of like egg machine. Yuzuku's was like, what? That's, that's Eggman. Thinking to his head, oh God. In a uh, Hiroshima, no, no, I can't. Uh, someone's like, "Oh, come on! I can't. My mic. I mean, my headphone jack. Ain't my, it's not working. I'm trying to get contact. A boy, a boy with yellow hair, with a uh, black, with a black lightning bolt in his hair. Ah, oh, crap." <laughs> Izuku's like, wait, what? Izuku checks his, uh, his, his earpiece. Oh, yeah, the earpiece. The boy with the lightning bolt, with the black lightning bolt, tries to check his lightning bolt earpiece, and it's not working. Izuku's like, what the? Oh, God, mine's not working either. Uh, wait, didn't Tell say he, he has, his thing is connected? It, my earpiece is connected to his computer. Uh, hope he can see this. Or, you know, know my thing's offline. Oh, God. And, of course... Kira, Shigaraki, the person who my Shigaraki is like, Kirigiri, warp the students. He says, well, I'm... Kirigiri's like, mm, I'm sorry for interrupting this piece of... of this place of justice. We are the League of Villains. And we are here to destroy the symbol of peace. What well, seems like he is not here. And of course two people rush at the at the Miss Villain. A.K.A. Kirishima and Bakugo. One does an explosion and one, you know, hardens his body to punch. But with no effect. Instead... Most of the students get warped. And by doing that, 13 is fighting off off the mist villain, Nomas Karagiri. She's fighting off and the students are the students are kind of afraid, but then uh some people are agreeing, like Ida! You're the fastest one here. You should go get the, you should go get the teachers. But I can't just leave y'all here. We're fine. You're the fastest one of all of us. You need to go. Un understood. So the miss so Kirigiri tries to stop him. 
But some of the students try to, uh, you know, fight back and, you know, and of course, Ida tries to open the door and he does. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of heavy. And he runs off. <clears throat> so with Izuku, Iz Izuku goes through a whoop gate and falls. <laughs> Lands in the water. <laughs> and of course, inside the water, he sees a shark villain about to eat his head off. Until Sue jumps in with her tongue. Well, jumps in, jumps onto the villain and grabs, uses her tongue to grab Izuku and jump out the water. Man, is like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, what there's villains, he's freaking the fuck out, Izuku's like, hey, sh shut up, and calm down, Sue and, well, Sue and Manera's like, huh, what the, okay, hmm. okay, oh great, they're surrounding the boat, so we need to find a way to get out of here. You know, Izuku come, trying to come up with some ideas. So, let's go towards, uh, we see, uh, uh, Aizawa. We see Aizawa fighting the villains. Mm. Damn it, Racerhead. Nah. Shigaraki's scratching his neck. Uh, he's destroying this weak. Villain, he's destroying. He's destroying my weak pawns. Uh, no mo. Uh, no, I can't use no mo yet to save him for all my. I have an idea. Shigaraki rushes at. Shig Shigaraki, rushes at a. Eraser head. And of course they go toe to toe in fighting until until Sugar Rocky grabs a racer head's uh, elbow and starts to decay it until a racer head kicks him back and gets some footing back. He's like, ah, my dip, ah, ah, ah. a little bit of skin showing from his arm. You eraser had using a scarf and kneeing sugar in the face and then kicking him far away. You, you dumb, you bastard, my nose! Sugar cracks it back into place. <laughs> no mo, no mo, no mo! Kill the eraser head! But of course. Nomu rushes at Eraserhead. They go toe to toe for a bit. Until Nomu comes from behind, grabs Aizawa, bashing his head in, using him like a rag doll. But at the same time, we see a huge water tornado just in the air, and we see three students in the air. Izuku, us, uh, Mineta, and Sue. They crash land. But at this same moment, somewhere in the city, in a building, is like, Sonic! Huh? What is it? Huh? It's an emergency. It's, it's Izuku. Hmm? What is it? He's at school, so I don't think there's no problems. His, his communicator, it, it went dead silent. What? What do you mean it went dead silent? <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Hmm, let's see. This was his last location. Before, before, by me tracing it, uh, here, this is his last location. <laughs> Got it. Sonic runs off. Out of the building and onto the streets. But at the same time, Ida 
gets into the staff office and warns and tells Nezu about what's going on at the U.S. Dre, at the U.S.J. Oh my. Um, he's okay. Follow me. He, Nezu looks back. Is like, you know what to do. <laughs> right. N All my buffs up to his buff form. <clears throat> Looking with the ma with a pissed off expression. He jumps off fast as he can. And of course, Nezu and Ida try to get all the other students. I mean, not students. Try to get all, all the other, you know, here, teachers to get to the USJ. God, I don't know. I can't think for some reason. <laughs> and of course, with Sonic rushing towards the location. I gotta be... Gotta go fast. Nah. Sonic rushing, cleaving through cars, going past, way past UA, and keep on rushing. But at the USJ, we see a man <sighs> in in some type of eggmobile, just floating. <sighs> Well, this is kind of boring. Well, at least Metal Sonic is doing a lot of the work. <laughs> uh, what a pain. I'm making Metal Sonic to get, to get, take care of some students. Uh, this is boring. But, of course, <clears throat> with, uh, with Metal Sonic, Metal Sonic is... Fighting Kirishima and Bakugo. They're exploding him, hitting him. It looks like it's barely doing any damage. What the heck is this metal machine? And Bakugo's like, wait, why does it look like that blue rodent? What was with Izuku? Hmm. I have my, my, my mind's a little foggy, but. That, uh, Bakugo's like, take this, you metal of bolts! And explodes it. But of course, what the? Metal Sonic grabs Bakugo by the arm and swings him out of the building and then rushes at Kirishima and knees him out, out of the building. And then they hear a huge crash out. Then they hear a huge crash. But just go a little bit back. Right when Izuku, Asui, and Mineta landed, someone was rushing at them. And Izuku's like, Izuku saw this, was about to do something until, until Izuku sees something up in the sky. Something crashed down from the ceiling. He's like, no way. It can't be. I don't know if he, some, Sonic, uh, Izuku sees, heard something from the ceiling, he's like, what was that? And right for that split second, Shigaraku is about to touch Osui's face. Izuku's like, no! Was, was trying to stop it, but something fast, blue, and small dashed and hit Shigaraku right in the face, slinging him back. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was me. Blue cool as me. <laughs> Eggman's like, Sonic! Ah, so you finally show up. Uh, you showed up? Yeah, of course you would. Yeah, of course you would. Well, <laughs> Well, you became a big time villain doctor going after kids? <laughs> I I know you've done a lot of things, but I thought you I I thought someone like you had some dignity left. <laughs> huh. Even the time when you said even the time when you helped me out. When the <laughs> Remember that? 
<laughs> but this is different, Sonic. We are not at allegiance to help each other out with the same problem. Eggman hits a button, and Sonic, and Sonic gets hit right in the face. Now, Sonic, face against Metal Sonic. Metal, of course. Sonic with the deadpan face is like, uh, look at the camera is like, it's always Metal Sonic, ain't it? With Dr. Eggman. <laughs> Yo, viewers, I hope you enjoy this. See ya. Sonic rushing off and Metal Sonic rushing towards Sonic. Blow to blow. Sonic's just having fun with Metal. It's like, come on. Is that all you have? I thought, I thought you wouldn't have more the last time we fought. Metal Sonic looking at, looking at Sonic. Mm. No. Oh, you know, I kind of missed that one version of you where you actually talked. You know? Mm. <laughs> oh, Sonic. Whoa, this is the same version of him. It's just after. Well, after when he disobeyed me and tried to take over my own, tried to take over my Eggman Empire, I made sure he was less controlled. But if you want to see Neo Metal Sonic again, then find by me. Eggman presses a button. And of course... Metal Sonic was waiting for Neo Metal Sonic, but instead, two missiles launch at Sonic's like, Oh, come on. I thought I was going to have a challenge. Sonic, son <clears throat> my bad. Sonic jumping up, kicking one of the missiles towards Eggman, and the other missile toward Metal Sonic. You know, uh, you want to know something, Eggman? <laughs> Would you? You can't just tease me with with Neo Metal Sonic. That's just wrong. Not gonna lie, ne Neo Metal Sonic is pretty fun to play with. <laughs> Eggman grabs his will, grabs the wheels like you, vermin, Metal Sonic. I'm taking your strengths off now. Full power. Metal Sonic. And of course, Metal Sonic restraints off. Wait, he can talk? What the heck? <clears throat> now, I feel different. Like I'm not being controlled. Let me show you what I am, Sonic the Hedgehog. Because I am the true Sonic. Both of them rushing at each other. Sonic's like, oh, I'm done with this. Sonic spin dashing into metal. But Metal Sonic grabs him with one hand and... Do you think I need your power? You are useless to me. Because you are the faker. Throwing Sonic at the, at the roof. Sonic's like... Sonic lands. He's like... <laughs> F f faker You're the one who's made out of fucking metal and bullets. Sonic jumps from the roof thing. Jumps from the roof thing. Dashes into Metal Sonic over and over and over and over. Spin dashing into him. Okay, I'm done with this. Sonic charges up the light speed dash and says, Here we go. Rushing at Metal Sonic. Da, 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 I can't even think of the word. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> Dashing into him. Back, forth, back and forth. And then kicking his head all clean off. Right onto Eggman's lap. <clears throat> Is that all you have, Eggman? <laughs> and... Uh, Shigaraki gets up and is like, Ugh. 
No moo. Kill that blue rat. Sounds like that rat. God damn it, this is giving me razor gin vibes. Uh, I'm not in the book of the Raven Knights anymore, so why are you calling me a rat? And the Numu rushes at Sonic. Like, oh god. Freaking pulverizes him. When Sonic's in the air, the Numu grabs him by the feet, throwing him back and forth like what the Hulk did to Loki. Sonic's like, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> Then throws. Then, uh. The Nemo throws Sonic away. He's like, I think I hit a bonus stage. <laughs> oh, that, hey, that kind of hurt. Huh. But of course, by knowing Tails, this guy feels like I can't beat easily. Like, what the heck? I hit. Sonic's like, what, what am I thinking? This thing doesn't look that strong. Sonic spin dashing into him over and over and accidentally cutting the the dude's arm off by by spin dashing through his arm. <laughs> Sonic's like, oh god. I did not mean for that to happen. No No, no Mo uh, No matter. He has regeneration. Regen Wait, do you know what? And the new arm just regenerates that quickly. Ugh. Even shows the bone and the meat and everything? God, that's gross. Yeesh. Ugh. Well, and then Sonic hears a repel. Hears something go down. He What's that? Sonic, uh, someone says, Sonic, catch this! And, <clears throat> it's like, uh, Tails! Sonic grabs a ring, and like, alright! Hmm, this will be fun! <laughs> wait, Sonic, Tails, like, Tails lands right beside Sonic, it's like, wait, why did you give me a ring? <sighs> that ain't a normal ring, Sonic. I've been I've I've been working on that with some other projects. I created it by you by having the two chaos modes what we have. Instead of just bringing the chaos mode here, I use I kind of used the chaos drives and a ring and kind of fused it together. I'm not gonna tell you how I did it because it's gonna be confusing to you, but you can use it similar to a chaos mode. Well, kinda. It's not as strong, and you can't. You can only use it like a couple times before the ring breaks. Okay. And also, I don't know what it can do. Hmm. Sonic's like, hmm. I feel something similar about this. Sonic's like, wait. Hmm. I want to try something out because this is giving me some familiar vibes. Sonic's like, time break. And everything's frozen. Whoa. Okay, I was just kidding about the time break, but holy shit. That actually works. Huh. Uh Well, I I did use time break when I was in the Arabian Nights and helping Shower defeating the Eraser Jin. And wow. I don't know how Tells did it, but he kinda copied that ability. Somehow. Oh, well, he kind of did use the chaos symbols and the energy of the from the chaos symbols and the chaos drive, so that probably had something to do with it. Sonic rushes at the Nomu, bouncing on its head over and over and over and over. And then kicking the... Then kicking the head completely off. With full force and Sonic coming back. And time break ends. Huh. And then Tails is like, wait, what happened? And the ring shatters. Oh, come on, I 
I was going to use that again. Uh, Eggman. Eggman's like, what the hell did... Sonic! I ne Wait, the Numa, it's destroyed. Sonic has a... He has a chaos mode. <laughs> ah, you are a fool, Sonic. Huh? How the heck am I a fool, Eggman? For bringing a chaos mode to this battle. Uh, sorry to mute, sorry to lose your bubble, Egghead, but I didn't. I'm not that dumb. Toes like, Toes looks at him and is like, uh huh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember that later. Tails. <laughs> Until someone bosses down the door and says, "Do not fear, cause I am here." With an angry face. And Shigaraki's like, "Oh no, <laughs> egg fit." <laughs> Egg, Eggman, what is it, Sugar Rocky? We need to leave. The Nomu's been destroyed. Uh, wait, you villains! <sighs> so I was like, oh god. So I was like, wait, what? So I was like, huh? Wait, what was that noise? So I was like, Sonic! Sonic gets punched right in the face. Gets flung back past Eggman and Shigaraki. He's like, oh god. Kira, Kira, get us out of here! No, 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 no. Eggman's like, Kira, Kira, get us out of here! Eggman leaps through the portal with a broken down with a broken metal sonic. Shigaraki's like, no! I'm gonna get, I'm gonna kill you! Uh... All Might it was right at All Might's face. And I'm going to say, what the? Until Sonic's like, no you don't. Sonic's like, oh, my head. Oh no, I gotta get there. Sonic rushes there and then bounces on Shigaraki's back. And then kicks him away. <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> You, if I can't kill All Might, I'll kill you, you blue rat. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. What you, what you need is some fuck. What you need is some chapstick for those lips. <laughs> you look crusty as hell. <laughs> crusty. <laughs> and then right when Shigeru is about to do it, his legs get shot. In his and also his his hands get shot. Kirigiri surrounds him and teleports him away. Sonic's like Sonic bounces on it on um all my tails like sorry big guy but I gotta go. What the tails come on? Sonic jumps onto the roof and tails flies away. Sonic tails gets the plane ready is like <laughs> well. Oh, we can, hey, all might. <laughs> yeah. That villain. He attacks R. He attacks my students. Of course, Eggman getting, no, not Eggman, uh, all might getting the wrong idea. <laughs> all might jumping to try to catch, um, Sonic. But Sonic just jumps Kicks him away and jumps back and lands on the plane and flies away. <laughs> and of course, Nezu, seeing the whole thing, is like, hmm, this is weird. Hmm, okay. And of course, the students go into, uh, the, go into the hospital getting, you know, you know, getting fixed up and then, you know, heading home. And of course, all after that, Izuku, uh, after talking to All Might, heads home and is like, 
Uh, yeah, you Sonic? Yeah, kid? Uh, Izuku Balan's like, thank you for showing up. I was, I was kind of hoping you would have showed. Hmm? Why you say that? Well, after when I found out my immune canner wasn't working, I figured Tails would, you know, figure it out and know that something was wrong. Uh, thank you. Nah, kid, it's fun. Not gonna lie, finding out that thing can regenerate and also finding out that thing was super strong. You wanna know how much force I had to use to, to kick him? And spin dash into his arm? But first of all, the first time I wasn't... The first time I didn't mean to. I was just going full force. Wait. Are you seeing all, all the other times when you spin dash into someone? You don't use full force? Oh, God, no. I could kill someone, dude. Uh, how, uh, oh, yeah. You, you have, uh, of course, you have your, your spikes. Uh, yeah. I spin into a ball and I have spikes going everywhere basically. All of, when I'm in my ball form. So yeah. I try not to use full force. But that does not mean it doesn't leave some damage. Well hey. Except for Eggman's robots. I destroy those with ease. But well of course. It, they're pretty easy to defeat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, of course. So. <laughs> this was pretty fun. But like. Uh, Sonic. Yeah? All my thinks you're, you were, I tried to tell him you wasn't, but he thinks you're with them. Hmm? Eh, he can think whatever he wants. One day, he will figure out who's the, who's on which side. It doesn't matter. Sonic walking, uh, Sonic walking away. And that is where we're going to end the video, guys. So, see y'all guys in the next video.